Well, hello everyone, and welcome to week four of my elite life as a CTC cadet pilot. As you can see today, I'm wearing my CTC uniform, which I was intending on showing to you a bit earlier, but I sort of kept on forgetting to show you it. So as you can see, white shirt, tie, epaulets, name badge, and uh, we also get a coat, which is sitting on the back of my chair. I think that was there last week, actually. And we also get a couple of jumpers, which is actually are very good quality. As you've probably heard if you've spoken to any CTC cadet in the past, uh, you can tell that these shirts are loose fitting. Quite a bit of excess. You have to tuck quite a bit into your trousers to make it look a bit more presentable. But CTC says the reason for that is to give yourself a nice bit of mobility. And uh, yeah, it can get quite warm in the cockpit sometimes. So, I mean, it doesn't look amazing. It could look better, but it's practical and that's what it's got to be at the end of the day. So week four, what's happening week four? So last week we did maths and balance and gen nav and this week it's exactly the same topics. So we kicked off the week with maths and balance. Um, it was pretty much our last lesson. I mean, we've got one more official day of maths and balance, but I think that's going to be more of a uh, revision session rather than actual learning. Uh, we covered quite a bit, and uh, I've actually got one of the items that we filled in here. One of the things that some airlines still do is that you have to fill in a manual load sheet. That's what this is. It doesn't really show up too well, A, because it's... Uh, very small and B I filled it in, in pencil so I can rub it out and reuse it to practice other exam questions. Don't be staring at this for too long, you give yourself eye strain, I know I did. So yeah that's uh mass and balance. Again we were talking about things like what would happen if you'd done your load sheet for an aircraft or you'd worked out your full mass and balance for your aircraft and Suddenly something changes, like, I don't know, you're taking on extra cargo or passengers or someone doesn't show up at the gate. Now, some people might think, oh, I can be five minutes late. No, if you're five minutes late, but in that five minutes, the flight crew's already calculated, right, I've now got to take this person off and their bags off. In that five minutes, they've spent all that time redoing the load sheet for the aircraft. By the time I've done that, if you show up at the gate, they're not going to run... run rerun a load sheet, they're just going to say, tough luck, you're late, you're not boarding. Simple as that, it's not because we're being horrible, it's because we can't be bothered to do this bloody load sheet again. It's a lot of work. So anyhow, Gen Nav, uh, like I said last week, was working mostly with this side of the CRP5 flight computer, and I said this week it will be moving on to this side, and we were. Quite a few things you can calculate using this. Um, Basically, you're calculating for the, how the wind affects your aircraft. This can be in the air or on the ground. For example, you can slide this down here and twiddle it around a bit, draw on here with a pencil or non-permanent marker. You'll soon find out if you use a permanent marker, but it won't come off. I don't think anyone's done that yet, so that's good news. Now, no ruined CRP fires, but yeah, if you use the bottom bit, you can calculate uh, like runway components, so you can work out if this wind that's blowing across the runway is it within the aircraft's limit you can work it out also if you've got enough performance for a runway uh, if you move it more to the middle this calculates the effect of wind whilst you're in the air this side goes up to 300 knots and if we slide it out the other side goes up to a thousand knots as you probably just noticed then this ends a bit slightly and this ends a bit tricky. They do loosen up after a while. I hope it's going to loosen up before the exams in just a month's time because I don't really want to be sitting there going, mm, oh no, we're not out. Bang. Oh dear, I'm five knots out. Not very good. So that goes back over there. Uh, also another thing, last week I mentioned about the Jepson manual, but I didn't show it to you because it weighs a ton and it was on top of my bookshelf and I didn't really want to drop it on the, on the camera or anything like that. But this week I've been prepared. I've already got it down and let's grab that. Here it is. This is a Jefferson Airways manual. One thing to note with this, this is a teaching or cadet 
student whatever you call it version which basically means you can't use it for real world navigation purposes it's just purely made for the exam that's the front cover and I wasn't kidding when I said it was thick it is seriously thick anyhow I won't bore you with all the details but I'll just open it up marks a couple of pages so it comes with lots of charts in it this is a classic example of a chart doesn't look very much until I uh, have a bit of fun. I've got to be careful because this is very thin paper. Very thin. Keeps on opening, keeps on opening, keeps on opening. And next minute you realise you're reading something the size of a broadsheet newspaper. Won't bore you with the details on that. I will yeah, fold that up later. Uh, it also contains things like approach plates. I've just opened this 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 up on London Heathrow from the late, I'm guessing, 1990s. So very out of date, but for teaching purposes, it's more than adequate. Right, I'll close this and stow it somewhere safe. There we go. Don't particularly enjoy lugging that around CTC, so hopefully we won't need it too often. But uh, so yeah, that was uh, this week. I mean, I have to admit, I'm getting a bit of withdrawal symptoms from not being able to get on a simulator. I've not even been able to poke my head in one for uh, over two weeks, and I've not actually flown one yet. So it's just like I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. It's like we want to fly a plane. I mean, it's been o over ooh, six weeks since I've been piloting command of an aircraft. I mean, that's quite a while for me. So getting on a simulator would be quite nice. It would, uh, I suppose you could say, cure my addiction for aviation for another week or two. So next week, uh, again, it's going to be mass and balancing gen nav, but we will be finishing it completely. And then the week after that, I think we'll be starting principles of flight. And then once that's done, it's going to be our mock module one exams and hopefully if we score well in them we'll be allowed to progress onto the real thing module one exams four topics we have learned so much in the last four weeks it's unbelievable i mean four weeks ago i walked in yeah i had a pretty good basis of knowledge but the stuff that i've learned yeah i've gone over Well, apologies for the interruption, then I had a phone call coming that I needed to take. So where was I? I was talking about that I did have a good basis of stuff to work on, but there has been a lot of new things that I've learned. So, yeah. Uh, well, that phone call actually came at a bit of a unfortunate time, actually, because I was just about to wrap up this video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe and uh, also feel free to leave a comment, ask me questions. I mean, if, if it's something I can answer, I'll answer it. If I can't, I just won't answer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so like, subscribe, feel free to comment and share a video with anyone that might be interested. You never know. I mean, if you've got someone who's about to do like CGC selection, for example, or is uh, considering coming to CGC, watch the video series and get, get my opinion on it. I mean, what this video series is. Is essentially just my perspective of what my experiences of CTC. Your yours might be the same, it might be different, but just look I mean there's other people doing things like this. Watch a few of them and see what you think. And if you like it, go oh, I can highly recommend going to a CTC open day. So as I say, like, subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.